This may be the nicest and most expensive ax that I own. So why then does it suck so bad at splitting wood? Let's get into it. But first to understand the ax, we gotta understand cheeks. The cheeks on the ax are very narrow. Uh, that's the profile here and you can tell that because it doesn't flare out at all at the bit where the cheeks are, it is not designed for splitting wood. Rather, it is better designed for chopping wood. Now before I lose you, yes, chopping and splitting wood are not the same thing. Now chopping is this way and splitting is down this way. Remember when we're chopping, we're either trying to chop down a tree or cut it up into parcels. And that's what this ax is specifically designed for. And it does a really fucking good job at exactly that. Thick cheeks, narrow cheeks. Love them both. <laughs> this is for splitting wood. This is for chopping. Uh-uh. I didn't say I wasn't gonna try to split wood with it. It really wouldn't be a video of mine if we didn't try it anyway. So, here we go. You gotta be fucking kidding me. Usually it'll just get stuck over and over. <laughs> but of course it worked good for this example. Jesus. Well I promise, most of the time. <laughs> Let me introduce you to one of my new favorite splitting axes. <laughs> I don't know. Use it for whatever the fuck you want to use it for. 